while we're talking about boys, let's talk about masculinity. This is a big emphasis for you. Our culture's version of masculinity is inadequate to say the least. And it is a great departure from the masculinity that we see Jesus expressing in scripture. So I would like you to articulate for us, where does Jesus model depart from what our boys are seeing modeled for them in culture, in media? Hmm. I think there is a lot of work to do in that space. And though we have done, you know, a decent amount of work, I think, in terms of expanding the definition of masculinity in this world, we've got a long way to go in terms of helping the boys we love understand more of what it means, what it looks like, what it is to be a man in this world. And I have a whole chapter in my new book on foundation and identity, which is all about anchoring boys to an accurate definition of masculinity masculinity, which is rooted in the person of Jesus. And if we look at who Jesus was as a man on this earth, you know, we think about how he was both strong and tender. Mm -hmm. He was loving and compassionate. He was loyal and generous. You know, if we run down a long, long list of words, those aren't necessarily the first words that most people in this world would use to describe a man in this world but is really the only man we need to be looking to in terms of defining what it means. And so I think if we're working throughout development to anchor boys accurately to an appropriate definition of masculinity, I think we're looking first always to the person of Jesus and studying his character and identifying those qualities as we read the stories um, throughout Scripture. And, you know, I one of my all-time favorite passages when I think about the evidence of his character is Jesus' encounter with um, his dear friend Mary and the loss of her brother Lazarus and how he responded in the news of that loss and weeping. You know, the, the scripture said that he was deeply moved in spirit and troubled. What we see is evidence of empathy. And sadly, we don't see an overwhelming amount of evidence of empathy in a lot of males in media and culture. And so we back to your word, we see a lot of pride and arrogance, sadly. Um, Jesus was a man who elevated women. We don't see a lot of evidence of that sometimes in, in mainstream culture. And so I think there is opportunity beyond the first and most important task of anchoring him to the character of Christ to also, back to that recommendation I made earlier, look at the evidence of masculinity boys are seeing in the books they're reading, in the movies they're watching, in the shows they're viewing, and look for opportunity to ask good questions there. What do you see? How would you describe that man? How does that line up or not line up with what we've talked about it means to be a man in this world? When mm -hmm. we've talked about who Jesus was as a man in this world, where do you see evidence of that in the shows you're watching, the stories you're reading, the stories on the news, you know, evidence or lack of evidence in a lot of men who have a platform in this world, you know, whether they're entertainers, politicians, whatever it may be, and helping boys make good connections in that space, helping kids in general. I, I don't know that we do enough to help kids develop the muscle of critical thinking early in development that I think they will need throughout their lives. I mean, mm -hmm. Andrew, you and I can both agree to that as adults ourselves. It's like I need the tool of critical thinking on a daily, sometimes hourly basis to mm -hmm. sift through the news that I'm viewing, to sift through the stories that I'm right. reading, to sift right. through the music I'm listening to, you know, all those different things. And so I think as parents, we can mistakenly only make declarations to kids as opposed to asking good questions that help develop that muscle of critical thinking that, again, they're going to need all throughout life. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right. Well, with so much falsehood and so much vanity coming through those outlets, if you're unable to think critically about them, then uh, you're not in a good position. 